Here are 10 must-see anime to catch up on in 2022. Hello and welcome back to my channel this is why the fact not coming to all of you with a brand new video. The series to binge to prepare for the year's latest and best. There's a ton of anime to be excited for as the 2022 winter anime season ramps up. In addition to regular returning staples like Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yeba, and the next season of My Hero Academia slated to air this fall, anime fans can also expect long-awaited follow-ups to favorites such as Golden Kamui, Mob Psycho 100, and 2013's The Devil is a Part-Timer. A lot of time has passed since some of those aforementioned series were last seen on screen, to say nothing of the mountain of new titles that have aired. That's why, in the interest of helping viewers stay ahead of the curve of this year's latest releases, I have put together this list of the top 10 anime to watch to prepare for new and returning series scheduled to come out in 2022. From Golden Kamui, Vinland Saga, and more, here are the series you should catch up on this winter season starting of this list is The Devil is a Part-Timer. The Devil is a Part-Timer, the fantasy slice of life anime based on the light novel series by Satoshi Wagaharo, didn't make much of a splash back when it premiered in 2013. Despite this, the story of the demon lord Satan escaping through a portal to modern-day Tokyo and assuming a part-time job as a fast food worker has grown a surprising cult following in the years since, with many fans eagerly awaiting any news of a possible second season. And after more than eight years, they finally got it. The Devil is a Part-Timer will return for another season slated to air sometime this summer. With Studio 3 Hertz taking on animation duties from White Fox and writer Masahiro Yakotani returning alongside the series' new director Daisu Tsukashi. If you haven't watched the series since it premiered back in 2013, or are just curious as to what all the hubbub and excitement is about, now is the perfect time to catch up on the series. And second of this list is Dora Hidoro. It goes without saying that Chainsaw Man is one of the most highly anticipated anime premieres of 2022. Based on Tatsuki Fujimoto's acclaimed manga of the same name, the series follows the story of an orphaned devil hunter named Denji who merges with his half chainsaw pet dog Pachita to become a superhuman devil hybrid with the power to produce chainsaw swords and devour his enemies whole. The series is currently slated to premiere sometime later this year, but without a firm release date, fans are starting to get a little bit antsy. If you're looking for something else to tide you over until MAPPA confirms the series premiere, you should totally revisit Dora Adoro, the 2020 adaptation of the cult favorite dark fantasy sci-fi series by Kyuha Yashida. Set in the sprawling post-apocalyptic city known as The Hole, Dora Hidoro centers on the story of Cayman, a reptilian-headed mercenary searching for the sorcerer responsible for transforming him and stealing his memory. To do this, Cayman works alongside his friend Nikado to hunt down sorcerers and then, after promptly beating the crap out of them, devouring their heads so that the mysterious man who lives in the back of his throat can identify whether or not they are the one responsible for his predicament. Needless to say, the series is as bizarre as it is macabre and only becomes more so as it goes on. Third of this list is Golden Kamui. Last month it was announced that Golden Kamui, the historical western-style adventure anime based on Satoru Noda's 2014 manga of the same name, would return for a fourth season. The series, which last aired back in 2020, follows the story of the immortal Seichi Sugimoto, a former soldier during the Russo-Japanese War who embarks on a quest alongside a young girl named Asuka in search of lost trove of golden hidden somewhere in Hokkaido. Although at times gruesome in its depictions of violence, the series is also known for its deadpan Coen Brothers-esque sense of humor with moments of understated levity and colorful weirdo characters. The forthcoming season of Golden Kamui will feature several behind-the-scenes changes, with Studio Brains Base taking on production duties from Geno Studio, Shizutika Sugahara replacing Hitoshi Nanba as the series' chief director, and Takumi Yamako, to your eternity stepping in as chief character designer. While the air date for Golden Kamui Season 4 has yet to be revealed, now is as good a time as any time catch up on the series if you haven't already. 
Golden Kamui is available to stream on Funimation and Crunchyroll. Fourth of this list is Mob Psycho 100. Mob Psycho 100 has been one of the most consistently impressive anime series since it first aired way back in 2016. Directed by Yuzuru Tachikawa, Death Parade, Decadence, and adapted from the manga series by pseudonymous One Punch Man author 1, the anime centers on a mob, an immensely powerful young esper who is taken under the wing of Reijin, a charlatan and grifter posing as a master psychic. The previous two seasons of the anime have garnered significant praise not only for the series' stunning animation and eccentric characters, but for the story's emphasis on empathy and forgiveness as a catalyst for the emotional development and growth of its protagonist. A third season of Mob Psycho 100 was announced back in October of last year, with Yuzuru Tachikawa returning to direct alongside Takahiro Hasu and once again produced by Studio Bones with this newest season strongly suspected to be the series' last. Mob Psycho 100 is available to stream on Funimation, Crunchyroll, and HBO Maximum. Fifth of this list is To Your Eternity To Your Eternity earned a place on our Best Anime of 2021 list, not the least of which for its unique premise. Based on Yoshitoki Aima's 2016 fantasy manga, the series follows on an unlikely protagonist, an immortal, sentient orb sent to Earth by a mysterious creator in order to learn and absorb as much knowledge and experience as possible. Taking on several forms including that of a rock, a wolf, and eventually a white-haired youth, the arc of the anime follows this strange entity as it gradually learns what it means to be a human being experiencing all the myriad challenges and impermanent pleasures that life has to offer. To Your Eternity is set to return with a second season, tentatively slated to premiere in fall of 2022. With only 20 episodes, now is the perfect time to give the series a shot if you haven't already. To Your Eternity is available to stream on Crunchyroll and HBO Max. Minimum sixth of this list is Vinland Saga Vinland Saga, the historical adventure anime based on Makoto Yukimura's 2005 manga series. Quickly asserted itself as one of 2019's most impressive new series, going so far as to earn a spot on our best anime list of that year. A second season of the series, with returning director Shu Iyabuta and character designer Takahiko Abiru, was announced back in July of last year with a presumed premiere date sometime in 2022. If you didn't manage to catch the anime back when it was initially airing, there's no better time than now to catch up before the second season debuts. Set in 11th century England, Vinland Saga follows the story of Thofen, a Viking explorer who joins a crew of warriors to avenge the death of his father towards at the hands of Askeladd, the crew's captain. Filled with spectacular action, Vinland Saga is a highly recommended must-watch. Vinland Saga is available to stream on Amazon Prime Videos. Seventh of this list is Made in Abyss Season 2 an anime television series adaptation by Kanima Citrus aired from the 7th of July to the 29th of September, 2017. A sequel film premiered in Japan on the 17th of January, 2020. It was originally scheduled to be released overseas on the 11th of April, 2020 but had been postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. 3. A second anime season is set to premiere in 2022. An action role-playing game developed by Spike Chunsoft will be released on consoles and PC in 2022. A live-action film began early development in 2021, with Kevin McMullen hired to direct. The second season of Made in Abyss is confirmed for 2022 release and it is titled Made in Abyss, The Sun Blazes Upon the Golden City. An official synopsis has yet to be revealed. We will keep you posted as we learn more. Made in Abyss Season 2 release date Made in Abyss Season 2 is releasing at a TBD date in 2022. 8 on this list is Render Girlfriend Season 2 Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Ryuji Miyajima. It has been serialized in Kodansha's weekly Shonen magazine since July 2017 and has been compiled into 24 volumes as of December 2021. The series is licensed in North America by Kodansha USA, which released the first volume in English in June, 
2020. Kazuya Yakinoshita is dumped by his girlfriend Mami Nanami after dating for a month. He then decides to use an online dating app to rent a girlfriend named Chizuru Mizuhara, a beautiful and attractive girl. However, because he thinks she was inauthentic, he gives her a low rating. When Chizuru berates him for that, he realizes she is meaner than he expected. However, when Kazuya's grandmother is hospitalized following a collapse, he brings Chizuru along and his grandmother is smitten with how great she is. Kazuya continues renting Chizuru in order to keep up appearances with his family and friends, but things get complicated when they discover they are next-door apartment neighbors and attend the same college. Later, other girls from the rental girlfriend business also join in. This is the second season of Rent a Girlfriend. Ninth on this list is Spy X Family. Spy Family is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Tatsuya Yendo. The story follows a spy who has to build a family to execute a mission, not realizing that the girl he adopts as a daughter and the woman he agrees to be in a fake marriage with are a mind reader and an assassin, respectively. It has been serialized bi-weekly for free on the Shonen Jump Plus application and website since the 25th of March, 2019, with the chapters collected and published into eight tank and volumes by Shuisha as of November, 2021. Viz Media has licensed the series for English release in North America. An anime television series adaptation by Wit Studio and Clover Works will premiere in April, 2022. Master Spy Twilight is unparalleled when it comes to going undercover on dangerous missions for the betterment of the world. And lastly the anime The Orbital Children The Orbital Children is an original anime directed and created by Mitsuo Iso, who's worked previously on other anime series, such as Mobile Suit Gundam, Char's Counter-Attack and Neon Genesis Evangelion with character design by Kenichi Yoshida Eureka 7, Gundam, Gino Reconquista set in the year 2045 in a time when AI and the internet have become widespread in outer space. The Orbital Children follows a group of children, who are left behind after a major accident occurs at a space station. The Orbital Children anime is releasing on the 28th of January, 2022 on Netflix. And that is it guys this is the 10 must see anime to catch up on in 2022 hope you all like this video and please don't forget to smash that like button. And you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my next video upload mega mega love shout out to my premier team. Team aspiring and all its very active and supportive members this is why the fact not see you all on my next video thank you for watching.